For simplicity's sake, right? I just took the guts out of the blower and turbocharged it, right? And you know, it still kind of appears stock, right? Put the four LED in the back, which gives you the obvious advantages of having a converter and an automatic, right? Um, you know, aside from that, the computer's running the transmission, the engine, the boost, CO2 on it. Uh, so he just stages the car on the trans brake, launches it, the computer does the rest, right? So we just look at the data and see where it wants what and make your changes. and a little way at the time. So. Awesome. So it's a it's a rear mount setup, or no? The turbos are uh, behind the wheel. Okay. Up by the engine, behind oh. the lower control arm. Right. And so everything else in the back is just kind of normal exhaust. How much power did the car make? Uh, I think they stopped on the dyno like 920 or something like That's that. About, right. yeah, right. about 920. It's probably making a little bit more than that now. We really haven't leaned on it. It's still stock bottom end, LS9, right. stock pistons and rods. Awesome. So we kind of just been optimizing the tune a little bit, you know, getting the shift points where it wants to be and getting the timing where it wants to be, but not really turning the boost up. Uh, the turbos have a lot more in them, but mm -hmm. we're not going to go try and scatter the engine. <laughs> Once everything's optimized, then maybe start turning up a little bit slowly until we put an engine in it. What, uh, what turbos are they? I think they're 76s, aren't they? Or 72s? No, they're uh, 64s. 64, 66s? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. How much boost are you guys seeing out here today? 22. weird challenges or speed bumps with putting this together or was it all pretty straightforward and well it's never easy to turbocharge a Corvette yeah. there's just not a lot of room right, so right. the most challenging part is getting the turbos in there mm -hmm. once you kind of get through that part of the hurdle right the rest of the stuff is you know fuel systems are kind of a pain in the ass on Corvettes they're great cars for race cars but to to build them to that level it, it's there the challenges are fuel system and getting the turbos in the car everything right. else is is pretty easy it doesn't overheat don't have any problems like like that part of it's it's well sorted right. out it's just the, the challenge is to get the turbos and the fuel system in the car anything i wouldn't know by looking at the car maybe like an obscure story anything like that you know um besides the fact that there's turbos <laughs> yeah you know it's you know a lot of these guys run stock computers on these cars and right the, the problems you have is the stock computer is not meant to do this stuff right so with the pro ufi on the car we have a lot of protection right right if the thing like we ran into a problem yesterday made a pass it's just cutting out we look there's it's got 1300 cc injectors on e85 right, it's right. not enough so we just cranked the fuel pressure up we didn't have to do any retuning because the computer knows how much fuel it has to inject based on that fuel pressure so we just put another 10 pounds into it made another pass car goes right down the track no more issues there we're still kind of on that the edge of the injectors right but you know it got us through rounds and you know we didn't have to go tear the car apart to try and fix anything Sweet. Um, last but not least, anybody to plug or anything like that, including yourself? Well, Pro AFI, of course, a <laughs> bias there, but uh, Black Market did a great job putting the car together. Obviously, it takes a good customer to build a good car. And, you know, Rob's been patient with the, the little quirky stuff that comes up, but you, know, you get through it and then the car runs good and it's just that much better. So.